is magic done with the magical medicine cabinet. I will show you. For instance, if you want to do my next trick, it's going to be the headache. Headache trick. Uh, the other day I have a big, big headache and I called my doctor and he said to me, take two aspirin. And say, okay, I went to my cabinet, I opened the box, and the box was empty, no, no aspirin. But I say, I am a magician, I have to produce one aspirin. So I close the box, I shake it, and I produce a jumbo aspirin, hmm? a big one. So, but I remember that the doctor say to me, take two aspirins. And then I have only one. But because I am a magician, I close the box, I go like this, and I have a second aspirin. Now I have two, and the headache is gone. Next, we're going to have Vic Sinex, his nose uh, drops. Do you remember that several years ago, magician used to do trick with thimbles, manipulation? But if you do it now, they, maybe people don't know what is a thimble. But instead, we can do the same thing, or almost the same thing, with the, a container cap, eh? like this. Okay, uh, let me put this here and do some vanishing of the thimble, reappear again, mm, here again. Mm. Hmm. Like this. Then again, another vanishing. Mm. Go to my pocket. And then, now, you see the green thimble. Green. Okay. Now it's a blue. Hmm. Now we have here a blue thimble. And let's see. The cap, but we don't gonna make it reappear on the tip by just screwing in the cap. No. Look what we're gonna do. The thimble here vanish, <whistles> magically reappear in the tip of the container. Next, we're gonna do something with the some goals we have here. Uh, two inches wide rolled goals. Mm? Let's cut a piece of about this long. Yeah. Okay, and the ghost. So now, to secure the ends, we're gonna use some tape. Hmm? We are cutting here a piece, just a little piece, for this end here. because we're going to do a trick with this gauze and we need the ends very clearly seen. The next one, another piece, a small piece, here, 
we secure the other end. So we have the two ends secure now on a piece of uh, gauze. Okay? Now, I don't know if you remember those tricks they did with uh, ring and rope. Well, use your imagination, think that this is a rope and this is a ring. Hmm? The cover of the spool of the tape. So first we go through with the end of the rope or the gauze, mm? like this, you can see. So now to remove the ring from the rope, we have to move the ring through one end. But in magic you can do it like this, you see. Another thing you can do with the ring is to keep the ring in the center, cross the two ends like this, bring the ring to the top, here, move it down, and now take it out from the center. Okay. And the last thing I will show you is this one is a loop. Okay. Clearly it's a loop with a knot and I'm going to throw the ring inside and you see the ring now is inside the loop and knot. Dental floss, the trick with the dental floss. Many years ago I did this in my lecture, whew, 1972. I did it also in Argentina, in Mexico. Okay, anyway, I'm going to show you the effect. Well, the effect is very familiar with the magicians. It's a container that has a dental floss. You cut a piece of about two and a half feet mm. and then of course you have to cut this in small pieces let's say maybe five inches each one we have one here another one here another one here let's do it one more another one here so we have about five or six pieces here, hmm? like this. We're going to roll one piece, trying to make a, a little ball. And we are trying now to restore the piece of thread, in other words, the dental floss. Let's see if I can hold this one here. Yeah. So now the little ball is stick on the center of the thread now. You know, dental flow sometimes is waxed. This is waxed. That's why the little ball stick to the center of the next piece. So we roll it, this one all together, both together, and we gain a larger little ball. So now, same thing, the little ball in the center, right here, we take it, we roll it, and again we have a larger little ball. Now, this one here, like the other ones attached to the center, like this, we hold it, roll it, and we have a larger one, and finally, the last one, we attach it like this, and now, because it's the last one, is the restoration of the string. Very magical, right? Oh, yes. Very magical.